Can I eat it? Pardon? Can I eat it? No, you can't eat it. <laughs> I really wanna. No, it's. Welcome back to Alternative Small Holding. It is rather cold today, to be honest. It's a bit cold. It is currently um, zero degrees Celsius um, and it feels a lot colder, to be honest. Um, but we wanted to come out for a walk. I don't think we're actually really going to get much done. But I thought what I would do is I'd show you what we've got growing over winter. One of the things that is doing really well, and I need to take off the tops of this, but this is lemon balm. Oh, it smells amazing. And um, I use this in teas, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to take a bunch of this today to use fresh in tea, and also I'm going to take some to dry, and I'll show you how I do my drying rack, and how I use this as well. But it's, um, it's really nice. I'm really glad that we've got such a big bush of that and it's still so, so alive. So while it is alive, I'm going to take some butter. Another thing that's doing okay, that strawberries. These are covered in a good few inches of leaves, but the roots are protected by the matting. I really need to take all this back. Um, some of these strawberry runners here are desperate to be planted. We really need to get up here and do these. Um, the strawberries that we got from the overplot the other day, they're all kept moist and safe. They're frost free at the moment because I don't want them to die with having their roots exposed. Um, but what I do need to do is take all of the leaves out of here so we can see where if there's any holes in the membrane. And then from there, I'll see what we've got what we need to plant up. Now there will be a path that is going to come pretty much up here and up to the seating area. So down there. So I'm going to cut through these boards and create that path but the path is to run down to the side of the big greenhouse that we're bringing from the other plot. So until I know exactly where that is, I'm reluctant to cut these boards because you can guarantee I will cut them in the wrong place. But that also means that I need to make sure the I'm not planting these new strawberry plants where the path's going to go. So I do need to clear all this out, see what we've got and um, get it sorted. The rhubarb that I showed you the other day, I still need to get some um, muck around it and get it secured in a bit so it is a bit loose but um i'm happy that we've got that one there as well as the big one down the bottom end this soil under here is lovely look at it the plot now is pretty much on hold until not spring just after christmas um because it means christmas in a week and a half yule so we're not going to do much more up here until then and then after that we've got some good work to get on with because we need to get the big greenhouse in here from the other plot and to get that little greenhouse set up and then there's the polytunnel which we haven't mentioned in a while but we'll be getting on with that soon don't you worry right what else have we got growing over winter we've got some um perpetual spinach and um, we've been taking some of the smaller leaves, but they are getting a bit munched. And we have some beautiful bright lights chard, which we've not really taken, to be honest. As um, you know, we have garlic growing over winter. Uh, these are salmon white, I believe. And um, we planted those about four weeks ago now, and they're doing really well. The net is doing the job of keeping the fox off digging in there because he does like digging. Look at this. He's having great fun digging through here. A little monkey. 
and then this is something that we did the other day we finished this bed and then I um, covered this with fleece these are water they're ice droplets they are so beautiful it may be cold but it is pretty I was watching Hughes Nursery and I only had this um, cheap, um, thin fleece. I was watching a video by Hugh and he said, basically double it up, you get double the protection. I was like, of course, that's what I need to do. It was one of the moments when you think, oh, how silly am I? <laughs> but to be honest, oh wow, that sunshine's beautiful. We don't have any broad beans up yet. And I'm expecting, now that the weather is getting below zero, it's like afternoon now and the ice hasn't melted. So now we've got to this point of the year, I'm expecting that they're not going to come up. But that's okay. I've got more and I'll just plant them in spring. I'm going to take this net off. Ooh. So we have some spring cabbages that are getting a little bit munched. I don't like this plot, it's had slugs on it. I'm gonna get rid of all these edged beds, I swear. Um, but they're doing okay. I don't know if they're going to heart up yet, like by spring, but I'm just going to leave them in until we need them and take some odd leaves every now and then off the bottom to make sure that they're um, kept nice and clean and healthy. And then down that end, We've got some purple sprouted broccoli. These leaves look so beautiful with their little pink tinges of purple fruit. It's so lovely. <laughs> Who's having fun with the ice? Um, can you see these? How manky these are. This is from all the white fly this year. And it seems to have just encrusted on there and stayed there. Um, I'm not taking them out though. I'm going to leave them and see what they do. But this one looks a lot healthier and a lot nicer. Um, we did have more purple sprouting broccoli, but um, one of them got club roots, so we didn't want to transfer that from the other side to this one. And then we've got one, ooh, one little red cabbage with a tiny heart on it. That's the only surviving red cabbage from the chickens and the child. Thing that we really have growing that um, is a vegetable is our onions. And they seem to be doing okay. Got the ones down here. Some of them are pushed up a little bit. Put them back in. The ones underneath the arches are definitely faring better. So I'm actually going to make a hoop out of the yellow hoops there so I'm going to do a hoop frame that goes all the way along these and hope that that will protect them um, a bit more from Mr Fox and his jumpiness and digging. That's those all put back to bed for now. There is something pretty magical about a plot at this time of year. I'm coming to seal the ice you've got now, yes give me one moment. I'm going to come and have a look. Your hands must be frozen. I think it's really important that kids play outside, no matter what the weather. I don't want to um, raise her thinking, oh, I've got to stay inside if it's raining or stay inside if it's cold. Even if it's just 10 minutes out, some fresh air, it blows away the cobwebs and it's good. But um, I don't know how she's playing with the ice at the moment because it's making my hands hurt just feeling. This is your ice and leaf masher. My lunch. Yeah. Well, it looks um, delicious, I think is the word I'm looking for. I basically Where did you find that screwdriver? Yeah. Oh, is that the one? I think Daddy's been looking for that. Remind, we need to take that home, okay? 
I just could finish up this video and then we'll go home and get warm, okay? Yeah. The last thing that we've got growing over the winter is the herbs. St John's wort. Got some lovely new springy growth in there. The um, wormwood is dying back a bit, but again, you can see some lovely new growth starting to come through. The fever fuse somehow is still flowering. It just does not give up. It's a lovely, cheerful sight on a really cold December day. Oh, what are you? You were a whorehound, wasn't you? Yeah, you're not doing much. Look, our Centura is still flowering as well. What an odd year. It has been a year of extremes and oddness, hasn't it? The rosemary is looking lovely. That's the Tansy. And then we've just got some foxgloves and forget-me-nots down here and a scraggly lavender. bed's done okay when it was transplanted. It's all going to be moved again in the spring, but for now that was So that's there. it guys. We haven't really got much growing. It's that time of year though. That lovely gap where we should be all relaxing, thinking about next year and making more plans. Um, our thinking about next year is wondering what we're going to do with all the stuff that we brought up from the other plot. And we've got to get that cleared within five weeks now. So, um, yeah, lots to do. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Jazz and a very cold Rue for an alternative small holding. Just taking you a little quiet walk around what's growing over winter. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.